What is trigeminal neuralgia? Trigeminal neuralgia is a debilitating pain which affects the face. The pain is intolerable and makes everyday life miserable in some patients. Friends, what is this trigeminal neuralgia? What are the symptoms and what treatment modalities are there? Let's take a look in this video. Wait till the end. I'll give you some excellent home remedy tips to keep the pain under control. Let's get started. Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Arun Naik, a doctor for 30 years and a neurosurgeon for 20 years now. Dialogue with your doctor is called a doc log. In this channel, we have doc logs related to brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health, preventive health and much more. We also give here simple effective tips and tricks to put you on the positive side of your health. The details of everything told in this video can be found in the description box below. Go check out if you need more info. What is trigeminal neuralgia? Well, trigeminal neuralgia is a chronic painful condition where there will be excruciating pricking type of pain in the face, mostly on one side of the face. This is also called facial pain or jaw pain. Actually, this involves trigeminal nerve or the fifth cranial nerve which supplies sensation to our half face, hence the name. This is a neuralgic pain, means nerve compression pain, hence it will be very severe and intolerable. No wonder sometimes it is called suicide pain. The disease is rare, affecting about 12 cases per 100,000 people in the community. Trigeminal nerve has three parts, friends. The forehead, the mid face and the chin parts supplying the whole face. So trigeminal neuralgia can affect any one or two of them. So pain also may be in these distributions. Common site of pain, what I see is in the jaw, always on one side. In fact, if you see pain on both sides of face, you are pretty sure that you are not dealing with trigeminal neuralgia. The pain can also be brought by mild stimulation of the face such as brushing your teeth, putting a makeup or shaving. It's often described as feeling like electric shocks or stabbing type of pain. Initially, it be short, mild type of pain, but over time, they may experience longer, more frequent attacks of intense pain, often unbearable. In later stage of the disease, even eating causes severe pain, and many of my patients stop eating food and resort to liquid foods. Trigeminal neuralgia comes in cycles. Pain comes and goes for days or weeks, then subsides. In some cases the condition becomes progressive and pain is always present. Most of my patients end up with their dentists before the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia is done. What are the causes for trigeminal neuralgia? Well, the commonest cause of trigeminal neuralgia is due to one of the arteries inside the brain looping over the trigeminal nerve. Over the years, the artery presses onto the nerve so much that the nerve is weakened and thinned out. Sometimes I also see a tumor, a brain tumor that putting pressure on the nerve causing trigeminal neuralgia. Rarely multiple sclerosis, a well-known disease which damages the myelin sheath causes trigeminal neuralgia. Either way, the myelin sheath is like an insulating material for your trigeminal nerve, something like an electric wires plastic coating. Once this myelin sheath is damaged, either due to the loop of the artery or multiple sclerosis, the nerve loses its insulation. In the process, two nerve fibers come in contact with each other and this causes short circuiting of electrical current causing intense pain. Anyone can get trigeminal neuralgia, but it's more common among women than men. It's more common in people over the age of 50, although it can occur at any age. One of my patient was 10 years old and he's still suffering with trigeminal neuralgia for more than 20 years now. How it is diagnosed? Trigeminal neuralgia is a clinical diagnosis. I do a complete neurological examination and understand the patient's issues. No more tests is often required. When trigeminal neuralgia is atypical or is associated with any other neurological problem, I may ask for an MRI scan. Now, what is the treatment for trigeminal neuralgia? The first line of treatment, as always, 
always in my practice is medications. There are many medications used in trigeminal neuralgia. These medications are usually started in small doses and adjusted over time. If one medication's total dose is reached, then I put them on the second or maybe a third medications. All these may cause significant side effects like drowsiness, dizziness, unsteadiness, confusion, blurred vision, memory problems, difficulty in concentrating, nausea, etc. Sometimes these medications are found to cause an extreme allergic reactions in some patients. I get regular blood tests in my patients as some of them cause reduction in some of the blood cells causing severe health issues. So these medications are always scheduled medications meaning they are sold only against prescriptions in most countries. Please check out with your local pharmacy regulations. What I have seen in my practice is that medications give a good relief in many patients and pain will be under good control. In some patients, medications do work for some time, maybe for a few years. Later, they develop resistance to these medications. As I said earlier, I give maximum three medications. More than that will cause severe depression of brain causing sleepiness and reduced productivity. In those cases, surgery may be an option in some cases. There are some excellent surgical procedures available for patients with trigeminal neuralgia. Number one is glycerol injection. In this procedure, which is done under heavy sedation, I insert a tiny needle through the cheek into the base of the skull under X-ray guidance. So this needle is directed to trigeminal neuralgia ganglion in the base of the skull. Once the needle is in place, a small amount of sterile glycerol is injected into the trigeminal nerve. The glycerol reduces the nerve's ability to transmit signals related to pain. Sometimes it may damage the nerve. This is an office procedure and all my patients go home on the same day. This procedure is not permanent and they may have to be repeated every few months. In my practice, I have seen the glycerol injections gives maximum benefit of up to few months. Number two, stereotactic radio surgery. There is no surgery here. This is a scalpel-less, painless and bloodless procedure even if it is called a surgery, a radio surgery. Here I use highly advanced radiation platform called True Beam System to deliver high energy radiation beam precisely to the root of the trigeminal ganglion in the skull base. This radiation therapy selectively destroys the nerve's pain-carrying fibers without destroying the nerve. I prefer this treatment in many patients who are afraid of brain surgery. Patients get relief in a few months time. Number three, radio frequency or RF lesioning. I do this outpatient procedure under heavy sedation. What I do here is I use a long hollow needle to guide an electrical current to the trigeminal nerve. The electrode is heated using radio frequency RF and the treatment is given. This also gives good pain relief. All these three modes of treatment can fail and patient can come back with pain. Many of them need re-procedure to control the pain. Coming to number four, microvascular decompression. Microvascular decompression or MVD procedure is my favorite surgical procedure. In those patients who have a blood vessel compressing their trigeminal nerve, this surgery can be done. In those patients where an MRI scan does not show any blood vessels near the nerve, I prefer other minimally invasive procedure I just mentioned. This is an invasive brain procedure done under general anesthesia. The surgery is done behind the ear using a small incision. Then through a small hole in the skull, I separate this vascular loop away from the trigeminal nerve and place a Teflon sponge in between the two as to separate the blood vessel from directly touching the nerve. If a vein is compressing the nerve, I may remove the vein and free the nerve. Sometimes I may cut a part of the trigeminal nerve during this procedure if blood vessels are not seen pressing onto the nerve. In my practice, I have a success rate of around 90% in these cases and a failure rate of about 10%. If the surgery is failed, the patient will be on lifelong medications or may undergo one of the other three non-invasive procedures I just mentioned above. Like any surgical procedures on brain, microvascular decompression has some complications. Decreased hearing, facial weakness, facial numbness, a brain fluid leak, meningitis, 
or a stroke. All these things can be seen. Of course, the probability of an adverse effect is very rare. As far as the success rate is concerned, MVD procedure tops the list. Now coming to the home remedies for trigeminal neuralgia. Number one, heat and cold applications. I advise all my patients to treat the acute pain with cold pack application on the face. Take a few cubes of ice and pack it in a towel and apply on the painful area. Never apply ice directly to the skin, it may cause a nasty frostbite as sensation on your face might be reduced due to trigeminal neuralgia. In chronic pain, you can use heat pads. Number two, trigeminal massages. I will demonstrate how to do this exercise. This is done over the painful area of your face. Take two fingers, four and the middle finger and apply pressure for two minutes on the nerve like this. This has to be done every hour, especially when the pain is not there. Don't worry, sometimes the massage can bring back the pain, but in the long run you will get relief from the pain. You can also use oils like peppermint or ginger oil for the massage. Make sure you don't apply oil near your eyes. Number three, yoga. Friends, I found it very, very useful for patients suffering from trigeminal neuralgia. Many of my patients report significant relief of trigeminal pain with yoga. Number four, meditation. This is a powerful tool to get rid of your trigeminal neuralgia pain. Regular meditation brings down the severity and frequency of painful attacks over a period of time. With that friends, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you liked the content presented. If you liked, give me a big thumbs up. Share this video with your dear and near ones to put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to DocLogs. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. If you have any doubt regarding trigeminal neuralgia, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. I will try to clear those doubts. I'll be back with another interesting doc club very soon. Friends, till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health.